This is a chapter 13 problem dealing with sample means and standard deviation. A market analyst wants to know if the new website he designed is showing increased page views per visit. A customer is randomly sent to one of two different websites, offering the same products but with different designs. The accompanying table shows the data from five randomly chosen customers from each website. Complete parts A through E below. So to start this problem, I would suggest writing down the data from the data table given here for website 1 and website 2. You're going to need this information for part A through E. So for part A, find the sample mean page views for each website. And to do so, you're going to use all of the numbers in website 1 and all of the numbers in website 2. So Y1 represents website 1, so you're going to add all of the numbers for website 1 together, which is the 7 plus 3 plus 13 plus 10 plus 6, and then you're going to divide it by the five randomly chosen customers. So there are five numbers in website 1, so you're going to divide all those numbers by 5 once you add them together, and that gives you 7.8. And then you're going to do the same thing for Y2, which represents website 2. So you're going to add 9 plus 14 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5, and then you're going to divide that by 5 as well, and that'll give you 6.8 pages. I like to write the equation next to the problem that I'm solving because it allows me to see what I'm trying to find and give me a better perspective of the numbers that I'm using. Part B, find the estimated difference of the sample mean Y1 minus Y2 page views of the two websites. That's You're going to use your what you found in Part A, so you're going to subtract your Y1, which is 7.8 pages, from your Y2, which is 6.8 pages, which will give you one page, which is the answer for Part B. Part C, find the variance for each website. So you're going to go to Sample Variance and... It will, the equation is written here, the S2 equation. So what you're going to do is you're going to compare each number given to you in website 1 versus your sample mean that you found. So for instance, you're going to subtract the 7 for website 1 from your 7.8 pages that you found, and you're going to put that to the second power, plus 3 minus your 7.8 to the second power, plus your 13 minus your 7.8 to the second power, plus your 10 minus your 7.8 to the second power, plus 6 minus 7.8 to the second power, divided by n minus 1. And like we said in part A, n is the 5 randomly chosen customers. So you subtract the 5 minus 1, which gives you a 4. And when you plug that into your calculator, that'll give you a 14.7. And you do the same thing for your sample 2, which is website 2. So you're going to compare the 9 and subtract that from your 6.8 and square or er, to the square root of 2 plus 14 minus your 6.8 to your square root of 2 plus 4 minus your 6.8 to the square root of 2 plus 2 minus your 6.8 to the square root of 2 plus 5 minus 6.8 to your square root of 2 and you're going to divide that from your n minus 1, which is 4 as well, which will give you a 22.7. How I found it easy to enter it into your calculator is to make sure that where there are parentheses that I have written, you make sure you enter that into your calculator that way to make sure that you get the correct answer because sometimes if you don't do the parentheses, you can get a different answer and it will be wrong. Part D, find the sample standard deviations for each website. So in order to find your sample standard deviation, it's your s equals the square root of s squared. And so what you're going to do is, for whatever number you found for part c, so for instance, your 14.7 and your 22.7, all you're going to do is square root that. So for s1, the square root of 14.7 equals 3.83, and the square root of 22.7 is 4.76, and both of those are your sample standard deviations for part D. Part E, find the standard error of the difference of the sample means. That is represented by this equation here, which is the SEY1 minus Y2 equals the square root of S1 over n1 plus s2 over n2, and that is what you found in part c.
which is your sample variances for website 1 and website 2. So your 14.7 and your 22.7, you're going to use those again in part E. So the equation looks like the square root of 14.7 divided by 5 plus 22.7 divided by 5, and that to the square root, or you square root that, and that equals 2.73, and that's how you find part E.